All right, part two of Vape Naked Juice. Um, again, if you missed the first part, uh, $7.99 for 15 milliliters. They're 100% kosher. Um, USA made juice. Um, VapeNaked.com. So we're going to go with Goblin Breath. Raspberry Lemon Breeze. I like that on a lot of them. They kind of got a little description of what the flavor is. I really like that because sometimes you'll like if you're in a if they I'm not really sure if you can buy these in a shop or not, but a lot of times or if you're you know like you're you come to my house or whatever, and you're you know we're just sitting here vaping and you go in my my supply here and grab a bottle and it says Goblin Breath. Well, what the heck is that? And I might not remember, but here, it's Raspberry Lemon Breeze. Smells like that lemonade. <sighs> Which is not a bad thing at all. Now, if you hear me coughing, um, I'm not really used to vaping on six milligrams with an RDA, so it's kind of kicking my butt a little bit here. So, that is good. That's good. It's got a really nice, refreshing kind of a flavor to it. You kind of taste the... Uh, I'm not really tasting too much of the lemon, I don't think. But maybe I am. Because it's, it, you taste a little raspberry, but you taste a lot of little um, tartness to it. It's going to be hard to pick out which one I like the best here. That's also why I'm taking kind of short little drags on this. Because I'm just not used to the six mils, man. That makes me feel kind of like a pansy. Banana cream pie. Now, that one doesn't have a description, but you know, banana cream pie. Smells like bananas. This is a little tip for you guys. Every so often, I am taking just a piece of Kleenex here and kind of soaking up some of the excess juice. In between, so tastes like bananas. That's got a little creaminess to it. That's pretty good. A nice creamy banana flavor. <coughs> That's pretty dang good. Alright, Green Valley Breeze. Peach Cantaloupe Breeze. I'm noticing that the breeze, I'm guessing it's a menthol flavor it. But so far, none of them have had, have had too much, you know what I mean? Like, it's too strong of a menthol, it kind of overpowers everything, and you really can't taste much afterwards. 
kind of fruity, kind of minty. Which I like because I don't like heavy mint. I mean, I used to be a big menthol smoker. But now I'm like more after the flavor. So I don't really think too much menthol. Kind of a uh, flat fruit flavor, not very strong fruit. I mean, you can kind of taste a little fruitiness to it. I don't really taste much menthol either. Mm. Not really a big fan of that one so far, but we're gonna give them some time to steep and see what that does. And I like the fact that they are in dark bottles. You can kind of tell the, the the line right now is either brand new. The line, the liquid liquid line is somewhere up in here in the neck. So, but like I can see the bubble in there. So, this helps keep the light out. Crapple. Dutch apple pie. So a little cinnamon. The only thing I'm tasting is a little cinnamon. Yeah, that's all I'm really getting out of it. It's a little cinnamon taste. That's it. So, definitely have to check back with her in a couple of days. All right, Vanilla Queen, white chocolate mocha. Not smell anything. There we go. It has a little mocha flavor to it. Not really picking up white chocolate. I love white chocolate. Yeah, definitely gonna have to. And these last three, I'm definitely gonna have to. Hopefully, will mature. Yeah, 
They are putting up great, decent papers, I'll tell you what. <coughs> now I am learning this with the vent air holes all open, so. It probably has something to do with it. All right, strawberry nimbus. A nice strawberry flavor or smell. Hmm. That's got a nice strawberry flavor to it. Not heavy though, but nice. Pretty dang good right there, if you split. Alright, well. So we're going to go ahead and throw these in the humidor, give them a while, um, come back, try them again. <laughs> 